How are you guys doing? Welcome back to the channel. It's Sunday. Um, it's about 11.30 in the morning and today we are going to do a little work on a common rail and doing a compression test on it. Um, I think it has a burnt valve. Uh, we went through and tested all the injectors on it. It's kind of low on power. It has a little bit of a haze and um, it has like a small, small, almost sounds like a misfire, but all the injectors do, um, you can shut them off manually and it you can noticeably hear it misfire even worse on every single one of them. So I'm thinking maybe one cylinder is down a little bit on compression and that's why we're getting those symptoms. Um, doesn't have a check engine light or anything. So I'm gonna get that torn apart and we'll test the compression on it and verify that we have good even compression um, and nothing's noticeably low. And uh, yeah, we're gonna start off by doing that. Sorry about that. That was my grandma. She called, she needed some toilet paper. <laughs> Anyways. We got Mason's truck all put back together. I'll show you guys some clips of that right now. I do. I'm fucking sick. I got to be. All right, guys. Day two of quarantine. Eli's over here helping because he's done all kinds of firings. He's been building these old dinosaur engines for probably 20 years now. Mad experience. <laughs> We've just never done firing, so he was help, happy to come over and just kind of assist us. But I know it's kind of hard to see down in there, but the firings are basically just sitting in the uh, just like the factory spot. How it'd be on a head gasket, and then. Just to be absolutely sure that they all get lined up, we put all the exhaust studs in the head. And it was, wasn't that hard to do with this cow cut out. Um, on a newer style truck, you might have to get it to this point, or a truck that doesn't have a cow, you might have to get it to this point and then go through and put your studs in for you trying to finally line it up. But we were able to pretty much leave all of them in there. So now we're about to set it down all the way. And Tighten everything up. Mason's gonna go through and do a torque sequence and just start putting stuff together. I guess you can go ahead and let her down, right? Yeah. Ready to let her down? Ready? Yep, nice and slow. Turtle speed. So yeah, um, we have fired it twice. Obviously I moved it out here. Got the head installed. Everything put back together how it was. So that's all good pretty easy to do on this thing because everything's just wide open there's like nothing on it got the dual hood stack set up put back on it looks like the hood's shutting pretty well so uh, Mason does have to go into work tonight so he's gonna probably sleep for most of the day and then he'll probably be over here in a little bit to uh, uh, basically just kind of he wants to start it let it get warm and then go through and do a hot retorque sequence on it but we also got the bedside Pretty much mounted one of the bedsides pretty much mounted on it i think i have a timeless vi time lapse video of them doing that so i'll throw that in right now And yeah, um, the welds aren't the prettiest, but we only have a 110 welder here, so you kind of got to get, kind of gets boogered up in spots, trying to get it really hot and make sure it gets uh, completely um, all the way into the welds. What's a lot of this will be taken off and ground down and re-welded. So we're not fabricators by any means, but we can do just enough to get by. So that's a pretty nice solid setup up there. And then we're going to run a bar. We're going to duplicate this and run a bar across on the other side. And I think on the back, um, we should be good if we just put another bolt in that down there. We should be good on this side. And we're going to run a bar across this as well. That also, we may, since we have that, we may end up tying the trans cooler into this as well. So, yeah, but the bed, I mean, overall, it's, it's almost perfect, really. Like, I didn't, I thought it was going to be a lot more of a challenge to do that. But it lines up almost perfect, like... I mean, I don't think you can get it absolutely 100% perfect unless you had like heim joints on it. 
or you're just a really really good fabricator but i'm really impressed with how it turned out the truck is starting to look pretty badass like this thing is a full-blown machine all it needs now is uh some track time we'll see how fast this thing is so we're gonna go through the uh, torque sequences on it and uh we'll kind of go from there other truck in here i want to test compression on real quick so i'm gonna pull the valve cover off pull all the injectors out and we'll test the compression Okay guys, I got it all the way tore apart. Well, pretty much as far as I can go for now. I'm waiting on the um, compression tester. Mason's gonna grab it and he's gonna head over here. Um, but basically, um, we'll have to do this one at a time. So we'll leave pretty much everything together. I did pull the first two injectors out just to look at them. Um, I'm gonna basically just do this one at a time, put the compression tester in, and then just bump the engine over with the ignition off. So I'll just basically, just to ensure that um, none of the other accessories or anything are on. I'll just basically get down there and bypass the starter and just bump it over and we'll do one at a time. So we'll basically put the compression tester in, put the valve train back together and simulate it all being together with all the other injectors in. We'll turn it over, see what the compression is, mark it, go to the next one. Do okay guys, still waiting on Mason to get here. So I went ahead and uh, worked on this for a little bit and I got some interior pieces switched out. I got the cup holders out of the white Dodge were I don't really know what the plan is for that truck now, so I robbed the cup holder out of it and it's cleaned up. I switched this piece out. It's different and I did mount the anteater. I think that's probably the best spot for it in the truck. I did have to drill quite a large hole right there to get that connector right there through, but I did get it installed. So um, when you're driving, you can see it right through this hole, what tune you're in. And then if you want to turn the overdrive off, um, there's a way that you can actually pop these open and I could wire it to where this button right here would turn that overdrive off but I don't really know how to do that and I don't I'd have to look at the instructions and um, basically take this box apart and solder the wires into there so I'll probably just leave it right there it doesn't really bother me as opposed to hitting that button you just have to hit the button right here so it's really within the same arms reach it doesn't really matter if you want to kick the overdrive off so that's nice but it looks like Mason's pulling in right now so we'll see if we can get his truck fired up and we'll probably do the torque sequence on it
good. Okay guys, we got the shorty back on the lift here. I'm gonna finish putting the exhaust on so that way when I'm messing with this thing, I'm not getting the underside of this thing so dirty. Uh, I'm probably just gonna run it out the back for now. I really want to take the time and make an exhaust. I don't know, I may just get back here and see if I can fab something up, but I really want the exhaust to come down about right here. But I don't know if I have everything to do that. Otherwise, I'll just swoop it out the back for now and we'll come back um, later on and do it how I really want it, but it just, it's getting close to being warm out and I want to have this thing and I don't want to spend three or four days at a time doing something like that. So, um, yeah, hopefully this down pipe lines up a little better. It's kind of hitting the frame, so I might have to take it out and do a little bit of a modification to it. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get this exhaust kit installed. I'm going to set you guys up on the time lapse while I'm doing that. Mason's going to do a hot retort on his head. He's just extremely excited to do this. So. So we got the head all hot retorqued and uh, Dylan, he's just over here knocking out an exhaust, destroying it. No, Brand I'm new not. exhaust. I'm not destroyed. I only used about half of it though. With how short this thing is. No, because it's a regular cab short head. Okay guys, we got the exhaust all tightened up. We got a clamp there. And then a clamp there so it's really got a pretty decent size piece that doesn't really have anything hooked to it but it's so rock solid and there's not really anywhere i can put a mount because it's not a cab configuration that would have an extra hanger so it's rock solid it's not going anywhere you got the mount there in the trans it's not hitting the frame anywhere mason's putting the tip on uh that's good just like that that tip's a piece of shit, it's already broken. Yeah, piece of shit. Yeah. Let me see. You can be the one to burn. <laughs> okay, so we've confirmed the tip they sent for free was an absolute piece of shit. 
They didn't get tight on there at all. We'll just leave it off. Alright guys, I've been sitting here kind of fighting this for a little bit, but me and Mason finally cracked the code on it. I had basically a whole assembly off of the diesel. This is all the shifter assembly. This one was slightly different. This came out of the truck. I could put it into every gear except first, and it would hit on the bell housing. Well, this piece right here that goes in the trans was also wrong too, and it's just slightly oriented different but this trans is 47 doesn't have a hole right here to support that so i don't know uh, but uh, yeah I mean, mason said it feels perfect we got it uh got our shifter linkage we adjusted it right here too and he said it all feels good so go ahead and make sure that's tight and uh yeah so we're good to go on that so mason's working on mounting the cooler we're gonna get it mounted real quick and we'll put it down on the ground see how it sounds all right guys got the train lines all done can see I ran out of zip tie so I can't zip time right now but they run through here you know time together real nice like and then back here is how I have the cooler mounted so got the fittings here coming out of it oh and I don't really like how much tension's on that but basically just drilled a hole through the bed bracket two here at the bottom I did. I tied him. All right, guys, that is pretty much gonna wrap up the end of the video today. I'm still trying to locate a compression tester for this, so hopefully I can find one within the next day or so. Unfortunately, I don't have I don't have one, um, so I need to get one anyways. But with all the crazy stuff in the world going on right now, I don't really know if uh, the Snap-on people are still gonna be running around, so I can get one off them. I know they have one because I've used one before. But um, anyways, that's gonna wrap up the end of the video. Merchandise is in the description below if you guys want to support the channel and yeah, I think that's pretty much it like subscribe and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one